Voters approved it. Now some say it's taking too long. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. During the last election, the voters spoke. They wanted to expand Medicaid to tens of thousands of low-income Nebraskans. Today, the state submitted its plan to implement benefits that will be primarily federally funded. Advocates for expansion are happy the state's following through, but not pleased with some of the details. Reporter John Kipper has more. John? Yeah, Jenny, when Nebraskans passed Medicaid expansion last November, they did so in broad strokes, leaving the details to the governor and the Department of Health and Human Services. Well, now we know specifics and that the program won't start for another year and a half. The state announced Monday the expansion of Medicaid will be fully funded, but the program won't start until October of 2020. DHHS CEO Danette Smith says they need the extra time to upgrade technology, amend contracts, and complete the waiver process. Um, Molly McCleary with Nebraska right. Appleseed, who's pushed for Medicaid expansion, disagrees. We do know timelines from other states have not been this long, and I don't think that the challenges that are being expressed, like contract amendments or technology upgrades, are unique to our state. She's not alone. State Senator Adam Moorfeld tweeted, This flies in the face of the clear will of the people that enacted Medicaid expansion in November, and I will fight this vigorously. Governor Pete Ricketts said in a statement the 18-month wait will allow Nebraska to avoid mistakes made by other states. DHHS says the timeline will allow patients to get care on day one. It is better for our fellow citizens that we carefully and methodically administer the expansion appropriately. When implemented, the program will give over 90,000 more Nebraskans access to health care. But those people cannot sit at home and not do anything. In order to get benefits, you must be working, looking for a job, volunteering, going to school or an apprenticeship, or caring for a family member. McCleary says this is a bad idea and will require the department to spend more on staffing and equipment to enforce the requirements. I don't know that the way this was rolled out was done in a way to save money um, necessarily, um, when some of the, the changes could have long-term negative economic impacts. And now in the first year, patients in the program won't be covered for dental, vision, or, or for over-the-counter meds. But if they pick a provider and get an annual checkup, they'll be eligible for those benefits the next year. In the studio, John Kipper, 3 News Now.